the door. One day in the forest, a door hopped along. Its hinges were bronze and its handle was brown. Now, where do you come from and what do you do? said a tall, confused, grey and brown, plump kangaroo. You don't have no feet, no arms or a tail. You're flat on all sides and your colour's so pale. And what are your hinges and handle used for? Oh, please clear my mind. I can't take this no more. Don't know how I got here or where I'm off to. And I can't seem to fathom why I don't look like you. I agree, said the kangaroo. You're ugly by far. There's no creature I've seen like you. You're quite bizarre. I'm just looking for love said the door honestly. And now that I've found you, will you marry me? No way, said the kangaroo. Not on your life. I've got one little joey. I'm already a wife. The door bowed his head and went straight up the path. Twas the first time he'd spoken and bared his true heart. He remembered his young days when he was a tree, how he'd sway in the moonlight and chuckle with glee. Just then came an elephant, all dressed up in red, and forgetting his sadness, the door bravely said, Will you be my lady and wed me today? You look just like a bride, gorgeous, I dare say. At this, the she-elephant grew redder than most. I'm a sacred temple being, she proudly did boast. I have taken a vow to live life alone. I've forsaken the world. This temple's my home. As soon as she'd spoken, her form disappeared. The door took off running, he thought. This is weird. Yet his hope seemed to linger. He must find a date. He knew it would make sense when he found his mate. He proposed to a peacock he met on the beach. I'm a he, not a she, the peacock did screech. Don't follow me, get lost, it screamed as it fled and the door's normal pale face had turned flaming red. At nightfall, his heart couldn't take it no more, and just as he gave up and lay on the floor, he saw a dim light from a house way ahead. I must go inside there, perhaps I'll be fed. Even though I'm so shabby and ugly as sin, I hope they'd have mercy and let me come in. With the last of his willpower, he trudged up the path. He dreamed of a warm bed and even a bath. His thoughts were disturbed by a quick and a clock. He looked up and saw something square in the dark. Hello there, my dear friend. I'm still the window. And if I can see right, I could swear you're a door. I'm a door? I'm a door? Now I know what I am. I could hug you and kiss you. Oops, I'm sorry, ma'am. That's okay, said the window as she shone in the light. Will you marry me, sir, and be my Mr. Right? The door almost fainted. His joy knew no bounds for at last his true love and life partner he'd found. He wed her that same night and together they stayed in each of your homes until this very day.